static bitmap gives you the ability to load any bitmap you want. You can stretch it, shrink it, change the background color. Let's go to the static bitmap and drag one right out of the parts list onto the screen. Move the dialog so we can see what we're doing here. You can lock the aspect ratio, stretch the graphic to fit an area you define, and all the usual formatting options. Now you have a graphic you can put anywhere on the screen and stretch to any size you want. If you load a color image into the black and white version of the panel, the software will automatically convert it to black and white. The options are kind of limited here in this 3 inch panel with only black and white, so let's flip this over to a color panel by going to the Navigation Windows Function tab, Panel Manager. We simply select a 4 inch part number and say OK. Do we want to leave all the objects the same size as they were on a 3 inch panel? Sure. And here's our 4 inch panel. We can either create a new bitmap or we can just modify the one we have on the screen. Let's do that by double clicking. We hit the disk button and let's replace that graphic with something a little more colorful. How about a nice big red no button? Again, you can lock the aspect ratio, stretch it to fit. You can even set a transparency color. Let's do that here just so we can see what that looks like. We're going to set the transparency color. Let's pick this white right in here and see what happens. Say OK. And as you can see, when I move this around the screen, very little of the object is transparent. In fact, just this little bit right here and right there. The reason for that is if you look closely at the object, very little of it is actually white. So you need to be careful and use the transparency option. We're going to go back and turn that off because we really don't want it here. Now there is no transparency on this object. Let's make that bigger so we can see it and hit simulate. Save the project. And up pops our 4 inch color panel with our big no bitmap on the screen. Let's go grab one more bitmap. This time we'll just go grab the static bitmap and drag it onto the screen. Hit the disk button. And let's go find a nice color picture of a factory here. That one looks good. Note that you can choose the resolution. We're using the high resolution right now, but if you're tight on space, you need more memory in your panel, choose the low res version. It'll save you a lot of memory in your project. We'll stick with the high res version on this one. Say OK. Uh, let's not lock the aspect ratio and let's not stretch to fit. We'll turn off transparency and see what happens. Now because the, gra the original graphic is so large and we didn't stretch it to fit the box, it's really hard for us to get the whole thing on the screen. If we go back and we lock the aspect ratio and we stretch it to fit the area we define, now we have a factory it stays the same size as the box we define. The aspect ratio is also fixed. No matter, how many, no matter how big I make the box, the aspect ratio of the factory stays the same. Note that you can change the order of these images using these tools right here. I can take this image and I can push it to the back, bring it to the front, all the usual stuff. This can help create great effects by putting static bitmaps over bar graphs, for example. Just leave the center of the graphic transparent and place the bar graph behind it, like in this example screen here. Here's a graphic of a container with a bar graph on top of it. Here's another graphic of a gauge with an analog meter sitting on top of it. If you want to take one of these stock images and edit them, you'll find them in your Seymour Micro Software folder under User Graphics. Feel free to make copies you can modify however you want, but make sure you save them to a new name so you don't overwrite the originals. One final note. Make sure your custom bitmaps are pre-sized before placing them in the library. It will save a lot of memory on the panel and you will have more control over the quality of the image if the panel doesn't have to resize them. That's it for this video. Be sure to check out all the other videos in this series. And as always, please send us any topics you would like to see covered. Or any other comments for that matter. We appreciate the feedback.